Hi, this is Tim Andrews, President and Chief Executive Officer of ASI. I'm here at the ASI Power Summit at the Breakers in Florida. And we just came out of an all-morning session where we touch on a lot of issues. Uh, but I wanted to call out three things that suppliers and distributors seem to be as emerging trends uh, in the conversations going on. Uh, first of all, there's a lot of discussion about pricing and what's going to happen to pricing because, of course, a lot of costs went up this year for suppliers, but they seem to be moderating now at the end of the year. So lots of suppliers are trying to decide what prices they're going to put into catalogs. And so while it looked like there's going to be some low single-digit price increases, it doesn't look like anything like last year where there were very large price increases in certain categories. We also asked suppliers and distributors to talk about pricing in catalogs. There was a discussion about whether distributors wanted pricing in catalogs and whether suppliers wanted to put those prices in catalogs. And it was quite clear from the conversation that suppliers had this desire to perhaps not put prices in catalogs so it could be more dynamic and people could check prices on online services. But then we did a poll, an immediate flash poll in the, in the conversation. And while suppliers wanted to do this, distributors said overwhelmingly, 90% of the distributors in the room said they would be less likely to do business with a supplier that didn't have prices in the catalog, 90%. So it's pretty clear to me that uh, certainly if suppliers choose to do that, they have some risk in terms of the number of suppliers that would be less likely to do business with them. The second thing we asked was what's been going on this year in the size of the orders. So while we certainly think there's been some sideways activity in terms of the revenue this year in our industry, uh, we asked what the average size of the order had been. And among distributors, they said that, yes, the average order size is down, but they said the average order size in dollar terms is down less than 10%. Looked to be a between 5 and 8%. So we've got 5 to 8% in terms of the average order size. And finally, a lot of conversations you might expect about compliance issues, social responsibility, safety of products in our industry. And so I pose the question to the, again to this large audience of 200 really key decision makers, the people that matter in the industry are here, 200 people. And the question was, do you know enough about social issues, social responsibility, compliance, safety, all the things that you need to know? Um, distributors overwhelmingly said, no, we don't. 90% uh, of them said they didn't know enough, they felt. And suppliers were 50-50. 50% felt they knew enough and they'd really done a lot of work and dug in on those topics. And 50% said they didn't. So it was a really clear indicator we need to do more education in the industry. I happen to mention to a few people, of course, that we have a number of tracks, including a special series of tracks at every one of the five ASI shows next year. For, specifically for suppliers, we're going to cover all these issues so, so suppliers can, can get that education that they feel is a gap. We also have a lot of classes in the ASI education at each of the five shows where distributors can go and learn a lot more about social responsibility, what the big companies are saying and what the little companies need to be saying, and also from a safety perspective what they need to be thinking about. So that's a bit of a wrap-up this morning after the first uh, morning sessions at the ASI Power Summit here at the Breakers in Florida. Thanks very much. See you soon.